They you like food. If it's yes. food, that's yes. it. Make <laughs> me a good meal from scratch. Yeah. Don't buy that Stouffer shit. <laughs> yeah. Like okay. if your go-to meal is chicken Alfredo, like you got to do more. Okay. I um, don't even cook for these niggas. You, you, gotta, oh, you better learn how to cook. Do I, it. No, I know how to cook, but for my damn self. Yeah, no, do it right away. I, I feel like I haven't got to that, but it's also depending on the age range too. I'm 23. I'm not cooking for no man. Why? Not Why not? You're at the perfect because, age. Yeah, this is where you get the best this, guy. This, this, you only have one year. You only have one year. You no, this is one you year. Get the best guy. Like you gotta to understand, capitalize. a woman is is a is a is a millionaire, uh, 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 eighteen years old. Like you're, and you're slowly gonna lose that money as time goes on. A guy, he has to build his millions. Like it's gonna take years before he's he gets to that level, 30, 35. But since beauty is such a huge deal for y'all. You're basically a millionaire at 18 and you're losing that value every year. That's why she was talking about the wall at 30 and stuff. Women start losing it at that point because you realize you don't have the same sexual agency that you had when you were 21. Let me explain it like TLDR. You have this year to get the best guy you can ever dream of. They just get worse from here. <laughs> oh, yeah. they, really, they really do. They get bitchier. They get wimpier, shorter fatter balder and when they hit 30 they start losing testosterone they start crying during sarah mclaughlin songs you could get a, you could get a six seven guy right now and marry that one don't don't think that marriage is like something that you should put off like it's people think of it as like an end and it should be starting your life yeah, that's something you know, that I, mean, I regret. I don't it as a as an end, I definitely want to get married. I'm not saying I don't want to get married. Do it earlier. I just would rather I would just rather just you know, because like we said, when, once I get married, I'm going to put most of my time into my husband and starting a family and taking care of my family. So a lot of the goals that I have for myself, I won't be able to achieve. Of course, how, how old heard, do you think heard, you have to have kids? When do you think your eggs drop off? This one always isn't interests it me. Like, isn't it like, um, I'll say like 45? No, it's like 20 that, something. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, you said until the eggs drop off or until you can't have no more kids. When they like start minimum. going down. When, 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 they, when they start going down, I'll say like 35, 30. 29. They, they're half gone. Well, I was close. They're half gone at right, 29. Right, but this is what I hate about feminism is they told us it was fucking 35. When you said 45, I was like, fuck. They yeah, got no, them I, younger. Thought you were saying, I thought you were saying like menopause. I didn't know you were saying like when they start falling off. So, no, no, no. You were like 45 is when women think they can keep having kids or do in vitro. It almost never works. Remember yeah. that. Like, and you, your kids will probably, I mean, it depends, but. I honestly always wanted kids by the age of 25. But now that I'm creeping up to 25, I know that's unrealistic for myself. No, you, could, you could do it. it. No, I don't. I, I want to be married. I am not ready to be married. Torsha. In the next you could be married. You can. Yeah, yeah. You could be married. And Torsha, I, got a, I got a really good question for you. Yeah. What she just said, I've heard so much, like multiple times where like. They have certain goals that they want to hit first, whether it's like personal financial or personal business, like whatever it is. Where is this coming from? Like as a woman, you know, I know you've heard this also before, you know, just have you ever had this this type of mentality where like you kind of want to hit these certain goals before? Is this feminism that like taught women this? Like, what is that? It's not feminism. Where, it's not feminism. Here, let me let me like explain. OK, women are people. We have thoughts. We have feelings. I know this is like dramatic, but like, like it's real. we we have identity crisis just like men do, except ours are it, it's a shorter period. And we're told that men don't value women without these things. They want a woman that's whole, that has their goals, that has all this. That's what we're told. Men don't give a fuck. They just care about what you look like in your youth. That's so it, it is a lie. It is a big lie. Yeah. That it's a, no, it's, okay, it's no. A lie. I, it's it is a lie there. because we don't it's care very, about all those goals that you're not, trying to reach. But see, it's a, it's a personal thing. I understand, a, but, but it, it is a personal one. And like, yes, I understand it. Women have a very hard time at her age. We're trying to manage school, work, mental health. Mental health is a really hard one on women at this Definitely. age. Yeah, it when your hormones are like this, I wouldn't be surprised. And in school, it, it, it is a very depressing time. This is when a lot of women end up uh, with alcoholism. Careful. Mm -hmm. 
this is when they end up battling addictions. A lot of women start at 23 and realize it's a problem at 30. That's why you see a lot of those women justifying when they're like 35 and sober, they probably had addiction. And it's, it's just like women have to have all their shit together by 29. And if they don't have fun with the cat. And so when I, that's why I'm so passionate about when I hear these guys that are like, um, yeah, don't get married. Don't get married. It's like, you don't even understand the amount of stress women already have on themselves to get it all figured out. It's very difficult. Yeah. yeah Cause they've yeah. been taught that they've been told that they can't trust no man. You know, don't well, trust no do you think we can right now? Most men are bitches. Really well, I agree. Are. But like, again, who created the men? I'm, I'm, I'm not blaming men. I'll, no, no, I'll blame no. I, feminism. I blame both. I blame men. I blame dads, fathers that, you know, decided to defer. Cause that's exactly what happened. Yeah. We, we guys chose to defer like, Oh, well, you know, this is what she's saying. So must, yeah, sure. Sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. Get him a participation trophy. Yeah. He deserves something. Timmy, the snotty nose boy. It doesn't play in the game. Give him yeah. something for trying out. Like, like, no, like we need yeah. to go back. Men have allowed this to happen. And this is where like, I get where feminism has done this and I get who caused it. But guys, like there's a difference between fault and responsibility. Okay. Who was at fault? They were for pulling this bullshit. Who's responsible to act. We are to do something about it. Well, so, it's a multifaceted issue and you really can't go backwards. No, you, you can't. Think. You just got to go forward to fix it. You got to empower men. That's exactly. the next step. Yeah. So like, honestly, right now we're still stepping on them. And I think it's going to be like that for another decade. It doesn't look like it's lifting up. I don't know. We're all going to be on the we're on the FBI wanted list now. You know? yeah, 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 yeah. Hi, FBI. Yeah. Uh, What's up? What were, what were I was about to say, but well, back to what you were saying, um, I don't think the main reason why, well, one of the reasons why we want to tackle these goals before is because, like she said, identity crisis. When we get with a man or have kids like i said your life isn't your own you have to put your kids and your husband before you're going all in, putting chips yeah. all in yeah and most of the time we want we just want to make sure I, I before i do all of that i want to make sure i can sit back and say i did everything that i wanted to do i live life no regrets now i'm ready to give my all to my kids and my husband and take on a whole different role in my life that i've never done before it should be I easy to give the girls nights then and the girls trips then i mean that's what i said as like a, why, you want you want to know why women have have these identity crisis or a theory at least is like we're so programmed to having kids at like 20 that when we don't we're looking for them i think that's so true it's so crazy. Crazy. And nothing's like nothing's gonna i don't have kids but nothing fulfills you i've done a lot of things in 28 years i'm telling you your your job is not going to bring you happiness at, at yeah. 25 you Money might, doesn't do it. it. It doesn't fucking do it. I'm not saying babies would. I'm not saying just be barefoot it's a and pregnant. Type of when you have a child, yeah. yeah. I understand that, but but like I said, like just, I just want to be able to say because I know a lot of women that have had kids before they felt like they was ready or they thought they was ready at the moment, but they feel like they didn't accomplish a lot of things. They hold a lot of that regret uh, and they um, push that off. Yeah. And they hold that to their yeah. children. And that's, and that's, that's really why, sad, yeah. yeah. Or they just feel like, or they just force all of those things that they wanted to do on their kids. I feel like you had your time to live your life before you had me. Now it's my time for me to live my life before I have my kids. Yeah. So I think that's why it's good for women to knock out whatever they feel like they should do before they have kids. So why when do you, you do can't do that, that within a marriage though, because you, you, don't, have, you, you don't, don't have kids right away. Babies because, are a big motivator I'm, for both yeah. men and women. But I'm saying you don't have kids right away. You could plan it out. You can be smart I'll, about it. You can plan it out, but I feel like it's a lot of time and effort that you have to put into making a marriage work and having kids. And with that being said, some say for instance, one of your girlfriend's goals is for her to have a multi-million dollar business before she have kids. Let's just say oh, that's she what be my she's, she's not going to get no. married. Well, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just throwing it out there. So like, let's just say like more realistic. Her, than okay. Um, say two hundred thousand. Being a being a a a big man a manager for a big corporation. You know uh, I mean? They're no. still not no. getting no. swiped no. on. Nope. Moving on. 
Y'all don't want women with ambition and real so, goals. That's no. not her ambition. None. I want None. her ambition to be to please me. No, she said, like, let me tell they don't give a fuck about your job. But I'm but that, that's what I'm saying. Care. We're not doing it for y'all though. But like they that's let's just care. say that that's, that's the their specific They don't care. Problem. We want I you to do it for us. I got a question about that. that. Hey y'all, Sergio here. I just want to mention I've created a completely free guide that shows you exactly how I went from having low confidence and being painfully awkward around women to easily meeting and dating numerous high quality desirable women in real life without the use of any dating apps or social media. So if you're struggling to get out there, if you have approach anxiety or don't know what to say or how to interact with women to make them want you and are sick of using dating apps with low value girls that hundreds of other guys have been chatting with, click the link in the description below to grab your free guide right now. And if you want private mentorship with me personally to help guide you every step of the way in this process, check out my mentorship program in the description too. I would be happy to help you reach your dating goals and overcome any obstacle you may face. And trust me, if I can do it, you can do it too. I hope to see you soon. Peace out.